Vanessa has just been asking me how to prune the gooseberries and um, I was just explaining that this one here is what you should aim to have because it's got a good structure, mm -hmm. it's not crowded in the middle, you're going to be able to pick the berries without getting completely spined yeah. and this one over here was the one you thought needed attention. So that one needs some help. <laughs> it's a bit overgrown. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is put the gauntlets on as opposed to the thin gloves. I'm not going to do this. No, mine mine, do mine this. are too old and, and not going to protect me. Have you got any thoughts about what we should do? Uh, Look at the shape of that one. Yeah, okay. And so, the shape of this so we one. need to take some of the stuff out the middle. Some stuff out the middle. So this, this the bottom of that one, I think, looks like it. How far back? Uh, back to to there maybe. I would take the, that out from the junction of, with this one. Create a bit so of air in the middle. That one there, yeah. You can always... Oh, you take the whole lot out, would you? I was going to do the one on the side that was going into the middle. That one there? Yeah. Okay. To start with. To see, start with. See what that looked like when we've taken that away because it's got quite a few spurs off it. What do you think to this one? Here? Well, that would go away because that's coming into the middle. I'd get rid of that. Okay. How far back? To the base. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, does it look like it's got two? Is, is this bit that's coming up there buried in the ground, or has it got two trunks? I almost? think the mulch is just covering the base of the plant. Then I would take away um, this one, because that's crossing over. How about not taking it out altogether, but maybe just taking it back to a few buds? Okay. And then similarly with that one, because that's going to cross over if they keep growing. What do you think? Well, we take that one back. To you could maybe fruit it first. Okay. Because it is coming this way. Uh -huh. It's growing outwards. Yeah. Maybe that little bit there can come out. And anything else? Take out that one. Yep. That small one there that's, that's going growing into, into the, the centre. And, and maybe that one there. Yeah. And then um, we've got crossing overs here as well. Take, take this one out. This one? Yeah. How about the stuff that potentially could be just lying on the ground when the fruits are there? Because again, see, the, well, remember the got, shape of the first one? We've got this one heading towards the ground, this so, one here. So but that, it's got a nice healthy branch coming Yeah, but way. it's got, it, it splits, so you can maybe take the one that's going to the ground. Uh, the to a bud? Yes. Alright, so you'll still maybe get some fruit yes. off it. Okay, and then... Um, Similarly over there. On the other side there's something, there's something that's quite low on the ground. That one there. Right. So maybe. But not the whole of it because it's the well one that's the one that's heading up the hill. This one here. That one. I would take the end of that one. Still or some quite, of it off. It's still quite tricky in terms of the fruit being quite low okay, down. Okay. Well then. Remember the shape of this one here. Well, we'll take all of it off. Yes. Then, right at the base, and leave the one that's going. Leave that one that you're holding. Okay. How about this one here? Uh, half of it off. So you can oh. still get some fruit. Again, well, it, it we're trying to open up the middle, remember. Okay, all, all right. right, we'll take that one away then. And then the... So... How about this one? That needs to come out, come needs to come out. That's crossing. And that one's crossing that you've got your hands on there as well. Mm -hmm. So first of all, this one here. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll get rid of that one. What about this one though? Well, I'll get rid of that one too. Well, then you'd have a hole here. Oh, okay. Well... I think this one here. Alright. 
So it's, it's beginning to look much easier to pick now, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Any more that are too, too low down? Well, the ends of these are getting too low down. That one, that one there is on the ground. So, a garden on so if we took it really hard back, we yeah. might get more upwards, upwards growth. Yeah. So that's really quite far back here. Yeah. It's in the, in the soil. so much in the soil that it's rooted itself. Yes, it's rooted itself on the other side. So there we have a new a new plant. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> this is called layering. Yeah. So it's a method of um, propagating gooseberries. So some of these you could deliberately pin them into the ground if you wanted to bulk up the amount of plants that you've got. We don't on this occasion, but we'll take this back to the garden and pot it up. Now, Maybe take some more tips. Yes, yeah, take tips off those. And that one that's heading down the way. Do not take this one. Okay. And um How about this one here difficult to pick? Yeah. yeah. Um, They're too close together down here, we're gonna get spiked when we pick them. So okay. we need to take some of these that out. One out. Yeah. This one? Yeah. And this one here is cut. That one. Yeah. And down here we're going to get in the nest as well. So you take the head up. Well, maybe just prune it back a little. I didn't mean that one, I meant the one below it. This one? Yeah, because it's heading. Heading down? It's heading down. And this one here then? Yeah. So it's opened up the plant considerably, hasn't yeah. it? The other thing is that gooseberries are very prone to American mildew. Mm. And again, if you can thin out the middle of the plant, You've got more air going around it, and it's less likely. But um, a lot of it's to do with the cultivars that you plant in the first place. So, if you're buying gooseberry plants, do look for ones that are particularly good at uh, resistance of the American mildew. The other thing about this, the location here is great because there's a lot of wind going through it. If you grow them in a, a location where it's more likely to be still. Right. You're more likely to get the spores landing on your fruit and then germinating. Do you treat red and green gooseberries the same? More or less. Do but you I, need I, to shorten any of the branches now? Well, that's the pruning that you do to try and get more fruiting wood to occur. You see the difference between these buds here and these ones here? Again, like the currants, yeah. these are the fruiting spurs, mm -hmm. and this is last year's growth. So you can prune them back to a couple of buds. Yeah. Hopefully, in order to stop this crowding going into the middle, you've cut to a bud that's upward facing or outwards facing. So this will be now the dominant bud and it should come up this way a bit more. I'd also be inclined to open up the centre of this bush. Just one last cut. I'd take that one. That one out. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing? Yep. Okay. Right. And then all that remains to do, if you want to do some more further pruning, would just be to, again, to encourage spur wood. But there's not enough of a growth really on these to to justify it. So mm -hmm. that's opened it up yeah. a lot better now, hasn't it? That would be much, much easier to pick now. Yeah. Without getting your hand. What about what about that bit? Where